We're actually gonna lose. There's no way. Hey Rush, Reckless here and welcome to Rush to Diamond episode 3. So we'll just get right into it. You can see I already did my quest ahead of time just to save you guys the trouble. And after we do these, um, collect these quests here, we're actually going to open up some packs. And I'm excited for it. You're excited for it. Let's hope we get some good cards because we actually got such bad cards in the last few episodes. I really need to get good cards for this to work. Uh, not the greatest. We can actually upgrade Melodious, which is kind of funny. You would think I could upgrade like a different 4 mana card, but I think this is the way. Oh, Simon Alicia is good. Unhealthy Asteria. Tricky, tricky card. I think um, it's almost like one of those cards that you play once in the game and then it's really hard to f for the enemy to fall for it again. Um, yeah, we actually don't have enough gold to upgrade the Melodious here, unfortunately, but we will do that right after one game. Hopefully for this episode, we can reach maybe four stars, uh, four silver four. So let's get right into it. Okay, um, last time, I remember I played way too aggressively. I, I You guys already know, I love the Rush playstyle a lot. and um, I was trying to integrate it into this deck, but... You can see it's not really working out and that's because we don't have the core cards to actually make the rush deck so uh it's not a good idea for me to actually do that i'm going to try my best to play it slow a bit this is a very uh, solid opener actually i love doing snow masons against a zero movement unit what happens is on my turn snow masons is going to walk, walk up maybe not because they can actually defend this maybe oh they didn't defend it beautiful beautiful okay we have a lot of plays here actually. So Fluffy is six. We can also do this. We can do Rhymelings prototypes into that. This is also six actually. The problem is, actually this works. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. This actually works. Yeah, this works. Okay, so I did, I did this correctly. Basically this works because we're gonna get a perfect trade on that and I'm hoping for summon militia next turn, which should be drawn pretty soon. If anything, in the end, I just want to buff that. We're sitting pretty nicely. We could have also fluffied and then potentially... It's not guaranteed, but there's a potential... Um, the Confuse. Confuse is forced. Confuse, when a unit is confused, it's forced to move left or right. So the if you think about order of attacking, the unit right here that was confused, it would have been 50% chance to run into its own unit. This is a little tricky spot because we don't have some militia. I, I'm more than sure we draw it here though. What do you guys think? Do we draw some militia here? Don't draw it here. We get a really nice uh, four mana, two mana though. I have to go for it. There's no way don't go for it. And do we ignore that? I uh, don't like ignoring things, but we have to ignore it. We have to ignore it. We have so much pressure already. I don't have a... I don't feel really like... Like I'm in danger of anything really. Especially with the corner unit, like if this was center tile, I'd feel a bit more dangerous because then, um, sorry, not a bit more dangerous, I feel a bit more at risk. But since it's in the corner, I don't have to worry about it much. Basically, if it's in the center tile, then they can actually throw a big unit in the corner like I just did right there, which they're forced to play execute, you see. So now I can actually just play fluffy. We have some militia now. Uh, this is tough because you could also do this. So if I do servers, potion, summon, let me do the math here. It's three plus, I count this as four, seven. It's actually a lot better than fluffy. So we're going to go ahead and do that in that case. Beautiful, beautiful. They just use execute, guys. So I don't have to worry about a single target spell. Most likely, like, it's a rare occasion for them to somehow run it. I could have cycled this, but I, I just really like the stats on this thing. There's almost no reason not to, to keep it. I can use it for defense. I don't think it's worth cycling. But I could cycle and like, you know, potentially draw a lethal. I'll cycle snow missions here. So blade storm, yeah. So that's why I put all my resources into one big unit. Because I knew they use a single target spell. So I don't have to worry about that. This is actually lethal with uh oh, with our runner. You guys are oh wait, this is beautiful. We actually have lethal in hand. Do we actually have lethal in hand? Look at this, watch this. Okay, don't look. Like, wait, um, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, my next card is actually guaranteed going to be the card I was thinking of, but it didn't happen. 
that's fine. We're going to play it safe. So this is kind of how I want to play it. Fluffy bad boxers here. Perfect trade GP. And we're pretty much winning. We're pretty much winning because of wolf cloaks. I was thinking of uh, sleet stompers. Like look, our runners are coming together, which is actually bad. It's a little bad because we don't have lethal yet. We're gonna have to wait another turn. Uh, but I do want to guarantee these wins. So I could have played too progressively. Rather not. Rather not do that. We'll just play a little slow. So we get Wolf Cloaks, Lawless Herd. Oh, Loris level 2. Wow. That's crazy. So in this kind of position, uh, this is pretty standard uh, rush position. Like, uh, sorry, in the rush theory, if you think about it, pretty much they're playing. This unit's going to block the left side. So I need to play on the left side. So I have right the right hand side open for next turn that's kind of what i'm thinking um it's just a matter of how do i play it that's the difficult part isn't it that is the tricky part I'm trying to think man this is hard this is hard i honestly want to play something like this Okay, this is actually good. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This should work, in theory. I just need to take a front line here, so I'm, I'm obviously gonna assume they're gonna attack here. This trades. Oh my. Oh wait, they're at one health. Wait, this player is crazy. <laughs> this player is crazy. <laughs> they're actually at one health. Oh, I'm not. I'm just kidding. They're not crazy, but um, being at one health has a lot of benefits. Because I don't have a solid one damage lethal card. So that's kind of a, the issue here, as you can see. I think I win like this. Please don't tell me I lose this game so randomly. I literally played it mostly well. So if they have execute, they're going to hit that. Man, this is getting a little too, too crazy for me. I don't like it. To have execute they'll use execute six mana to deal with two one strings they probably can do it oh my. oh okay it's a two strength actually two mana to deal with two six mana to deal with two units come on just give me the wit <laughs> we're actually gonna lose there's no way i cannot believe my eyes right now This is just silly. Just silly. I have to fluffy snow masons. Mm, this doesn't work either. Doesn't actually work. It doesn't work because uh, this unit will attack first. Ah, I don't like this at all. I could play here. There, there. This is hard, guys. I'm just gonna go for it. I have to go for it on here. We might actually catch a win. We have a chance, but it's like so hard. I mean, at least we're still alive. That, that's like a good thing. At the same time, the condition to not use Broken Truth, that's also good. But you can see how I'm struggling to deal with one damage. Because pretty much no matter what I play, in most cases I'll over damage. I'll over cap and damage. So that's what I mean by like them being at one strength is pretty insane. Are they actually? They're, they're not. There's no way. This player is like so good. But wait, is that lethal? It is lethal. Yes, we win. <laughs> We win. Okay, so we win here because we can grab frontline here and then we can grab frontline here and we can deal six damage over capping by five damage to the base. That's what I'm like. That's what I mean by being at one health is actually pretty insane. Wow, that actually got me really scared. Not gonna lie. <laughs> the only reason I won that game actually was the way I positioned my units there. You can see how 
there was no way for the enemy to deal with the unit stuck in the back like that. So I guaranteed at least holding one front line, like one row, one row of front line. And that pretty much cl uh, closed out the game for me. On top of that, what was I talking about? I was trying to talk about a couple things we can analyze there. Um, oh, I should have actually had lethal when I said like it's in my hand. I don't, I drew cards that shouldn't have been drawn there. Like the, but I mean, it's all RNG. It's, it is RNG, but like some of those draws are kind of off to me. Then again, I don't even remember the full extent of my deck, so I can't really say for sure. This is a, a really beautiful play. I love doing this, even though it's not the best, best thing. It's, it's actually pretty sick. When you vitalize, summon militia vitalize, I can keep this level two. When you vitalize um, unit like this, if you think about it theoretically, if it survives and goes into the enemy base, this thing's a monster. Five strength to go here, six strength, seven strength, eight strength, nine strength. This getting built to nine strength. Okay, so they clear it. That's completely fine though. Fluffy bad box is gonna come out. I always like playing to the the center, uh, the file right beside the structure. Um, you can also play like this. It doesn't actually matter too much unless you're running like Siege Breakers, which I really should have in my deck, but I don't. I think this is fine because Snow Masons can come out next turn. We're going to do a pretty sick Snow Masons turn, actually. In most cases, what they'll, they'll do is match my one movement and they'll just play their own one movement or even zero movement, which makes it really hard for me to clear and they guarantee at least one trigger. Yeah, so this is really hard for me to clear, like I said. It's also going to get buffed. That's fine, though. I'm going to show you guys a cool trick. This is a rush trick with Snow Masons. You can go like this. I'm going to cycle after because this is a pretty beautiful hand. And now they're a little bit stuck. If they have freeze, they can... Freeze actually can cancel out death effects, if you didn't know that. So if they freeze this and kill it, my whole plan goes to waste. But... Um, if they don't do that, then we have a pretty solid setup. They can deal with this, unless they have a spell, of course. Ooh, that's a good- that's actually smart positioning by them, like really smart. And they freeze. Okay, that was not the smartest, actually. And I'll show you why it's not the smartest. <laughs> Everything else was really smart, though. I'll hand that to them. So I'll start with this. Simple base lock tactic. Hit that. And honestly, we can uh, go ahead and hit this. I don't think there's a reason not to. I mean, you could also just keep it alive. I like having the board clean, I think. It makes it it makes it makes a lot easier to... I have lethal here if they don't want to flood the gates. Level 3 blade storm. Yeah, I think that, that would be game. Level 3 blade storm. Nice, okay. I mean, it's not guaranteed lethal. Act Wait, is it? Oh, it, yeah, it's not guaranteed lethal now. Depend on the Snow Mason bounce. Equal bounce. Yes, we got the lethal. Okay, so perfect. Two games in. Nice. So that's that's what we call a base lock. Basically, we I, I took over all the t available tiles for them, the enemy, so they couldn't play any units. The only thing that you can play at that position is spells. When you can't play units, I mean, it's kind of difficult because you need to rely on your spells and... You can see they tried to use a spell, but realistically, like a spell like that, I'll just base lock again. So, base locking is a really sick, um, sick way to like close out, close out early games. I guess it makes it really hard for the enemies to deal with. The higher ranks, though, a lot of enemies have the uten like the utilities they need just to, to clear those base locks. So, and these ranks will probably work out a lot better should definitely integrate it into your games because it's so good it's so good hey rush it's reckless here so instead of just ending the video short there i decided we might as well just play out a couple more games from for like the next day so here we are i actually already did the quest for today so i might as well just go ahead and grab that and once we grab that i actually took a look quick peek at the store and there is quite some amazing card Oh my goodness, winter cards, let's go. Well, of course, we can grab two copies. That means we can guarantee to upgrade it. And we might actually want to even grab Frost Hexers. I'm not entirely sure how I want to take this. You might think this is like not really a rush card. It pretty much isn't. But at max level, it's kind of like Lawless Herd. Minus one strength with the effect. And this effect can be extremely deadly. I 
honestly i'm really tempted to buy it but for now let's just go ahead and upgrade the cards we have so we'll upgrade wolf cloaks level two wolf cloaks is a big big deal very happy and excited for that one and then we have melodia sitting at uh i don't really don't want to upgrade this card but i mean it's kind of strange to get an epic and upgrade this just for stats but i guess that's how it's going to be um I mean, there is obviously some potential synergy with Fluffy, but it's unlikely to happen. So with that being said, we're sitting at three stars and let's just get into it. And let's hope we can get silver three. Let's hope we can get silver three this time. I'm really excited for this one. It gets another winter player. Uh, wow, I got confused there. I thought this was Wolf Cloaks and I was like, I swear I just upgraded this card. <laughs> um, one more thing I should have mentioned in the intro of my of the intro of this video is actually if you haven't already go ahead and check out the link in the description there is a link to a tournament i'm hosting and those tournaments give a lot of prizes a lots and lots of ruby prizes for winners so if you're excited if you're interested yeah, go ahead and check that out here we might as well just cycle sleet stompers Ooh, we got a oh we actually get a good hand nice okay so we can gift it lawless might as well control center not really a reason not to you could obviously play like focused on one side but by controlling center i'm assuming they're gonna just play one card and then i can take over the other other side so it's all good glacier palace interesting card part of me wants to use potion now this is hard i think i cycle this though it is level two it's amazing but we'll use this more as a runner and we already have a pretty solid board this card has to come out actually this is the card to play it's gonna freeze it though actually okay 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 I, I understand now so actually you play like this and then you're hoping some militia doesn't land that was like the worst how it could have landed isn't it <laughs> oh gosh this is so bad because now next turn this is pretty much um a lot of players in the top rank when when you have units like this they'll actually position the building like that so that i have no opportunity to tech into it so next turn, I have no opportunity to tag into it. It would even have been better to be in front because there's a 50% chance it gets frozen um, against this tower here. So this was quite literally the absolute worst place my RNG could have hit. <laughs> and it hit there. I mean, we're going to see what we can make out of this. Though. There's another... Oh, okay, nice. Okay, never mind. This is fine. Oof, we're saved. We're saved. What? This player is trolling. This first one. It's already frozen, which means it basically won't do anything. Okay, anyways, we're just going to go completely aggressive. I like this hand just because they're both level two cards, so they can see a lot of play here. That is complete troll. Don't do that. My unit was already frozen, so it's not like it's gonna move anyways. And you might as well just kill something stronger, like this. There's no reason for them to icicle burst something so weak, but those kind of misplays are definitely going to cost you the game. Oh, this is beautiful, actually. It completely destroys this. Oh, no. So sad. It's a good play, actually. Well played, but... Uh, let's see, actually. We're so close to base locking if this unit was one forward. The way I actually want to play this is completely aggressively because I don't care. Let's go aggressive. This is Rush. Go aggressive. We also have Sleet Stompers this is our Wolf Cloaks. They're basically the same strength, assuming this lives. If this doesn't live, which actually it might not, but I think you would attack into this. This is the best unit to attack when you're under this kind of a... Actually, either way, they kind of lose. They'll have to kill this unit and deal damage to GP. Otherwise, six strength goes into base. The only other plays actually attacking here. They don't know that, but if they attack here, I can't. don't have an opportunity to go into the base. But yes, I do because Rhymeling's Wolf Cloaks is also lethal. Oh, okay, so defending and that's game. Nice. Nice. So we can also do Wolf Cloaks lethal here. That's how good Wolf Cloaks is as a card. I really like this card. But we'll do it with the Sleet Stompers. It saves us some, a little bit of time, actually, animation time. Good game. That was the first game. And we're going to play it one more just to keep the episode short. But I mean, it's not completely short because it is adding on to the last. The last, uh, the last series. Sorry, the last episode. But no worries. Um, let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go. I, I really want to catch those. Um, those. I might want to grab those. Those frost textures. I'm not entirely sure yet. They sound really good though. 
Essentially with freeze, the reason why it's actually good is, like I mentioned previously, you can actually force, you can freeze enemy unit on their baseline, which allows you to like corner tuck your units in these very odd positions where the only way they can counter it is with spells. And that is the beauty of freeze. Freeze rush. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, another silver... Oh, it's not silver, sorry. <laughs> of course we're in silver. Another uh, winter player. This is a good card, actually. The heart is actually a pretty strong card. Um, level 2. Powerful. I want to just play my snowmasons. It's a 6 strength total, which is technically better than these two. I'm going to cycle because Fluffy is a very strong card. Also looking for just better cards in general, I guess. But this is the 6 strength total if it doesn't die here. Which it doesn't, and they don't play a unit. Let's go. That's a that's a misplay. Like, if you're playing with the hearth, you need units in order for this thing to actually do anything. So you might as well just throw in a bunch of cheap units to make it work. But if you don't, I mean, it's not my problem. And we get fluffy. Fluffy's so good. We also have GP in the deck, so if we played out these three, we can potentially get GP with fluffy next turn, which I kind of like better. I think. I think that's the play. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Do they play freeze? So there's a GP. Fluffy can come out to kill this if I need to. Then GP. It all depends. All depends. I put this in front. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I part of me still wants to kill this though. I think it's correct. We'll go ahead and kill that. Now we'll play GP over here. That was 7 mana. We draw Wolf Cloaks next turn. And on this board, Wolf Cloaks is actually better. Just because we have like no units anyway. So it's just a cheaper Sleet Stompers. We'll have this unit on the board, keeping this at 6. So it's basically just cheaper Sleet Stompers. And it's actually playable. Oh, we don't have this on board then. Hmm, interesting. Do 5 to the face. This is going to get a little tricky, but they did just play a big unit with movement. Technically movement, because it was playing offensively. I think Melodious plus Potion is the way to go. And then you can decide like here or here. I'm actually going to play it. If you play it here, then you have top right priority for next turn. I'm honestly just thinking about Wolf Cloak slow. Okay, I think this is fine. Should be fine. Okay, Snowmasons, we're just gonna cycle because this is also very nice. So my only consideration there was putting it either on the top right corner-ish or the center column. If it's in the center and it lives, I can eat top left unit. And if it's over here, then... Yeah, I think this is better. Yes, we have lethal. Let's go. Our upgraded wolf clothes is the lethal. Beautiful. Look at this. Just because we upgraded it. Boom. One shot. Okay, nice. Um, so if I played it in the corner, all they have to do actually, they can actually defend a runner by playing one unit to cover three potential tiles from from me. Like I can't actually throw in a runner. There's one specific tile they can play a defensive unit and then there's no way for me to attack. So I think it was actually a little bit smarter for me to play in the center. These are such a good swarm cards. <laughs> Why do I keep getting shadow fan cards? Uh, oh well. We've collected this, and I don't know, I really want to purchase more copies of this, which would require me to play more games, and I can't actually play more games. Actually, I'll play a Brawl off stream, so that should get me just enough to buy this. We're going to buy some of these out, and we'll probably upgrade it if we can, maybe in the next episode, okay? So that's basically going to be it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace.